and how many dates resulting from ten thousand dollars a year and a half? Oh, at least zero. At least zero. <laughs> well put. Well put. Hey, Michael, how you doing? Good, Jeff. <laughs> Thanks for sitting with me. Hey, everyone, I'm sitting with Michael here. He's offered bravely to be my first public victim <laughs> to do a zone of success analysis. So, you ready? Should I'm ready. Get the road on the show. So, the reason um, we do zone of success at Mass Guarantee is when I partnered with Tatiana two years ago, I sat down with her and I said, Tatiana, how is it that you can have the industry's highest, uh, that we know of, success rate. Uh, I mean, how is it that nine out of 10 foreign men that come to you are successful, that they meet their match? And um, I basically sat down with her and for a couple of days, we you know, drilled down into it to come up with and formulatize uh, success uh, for her clients. And so based from that, we, come up for a f we came up with a formula for your success, a zone of success, we call it. So um, Michael, let's, let's talk about, before we do your zone of success, you've been looking for love, um, I think, in all the wrong places. <laughs> Probably right. Uh, probably right. Um, but you've been looking online for about a year and a half, right? Uh, loosely speaking, yeah. Right, okay. And on one website alone, you spent how much? The paper chat, paper letter? Pa paper letter yeah. plus chat plus everything else. Um, yeah. Somewhere in the vicinity of 10,000 Australian. Right. Dollars. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and that's a big waste of time, big waste of effort. How, how many hours per week would you say uh, invested doing that? Uh, anything between 10 and 40 hours a week. Right. Strung along. Strung along. Right. And how many dates resulting from $10,000 a year and a half? Oh, at least zero. At least zero. <laughs> well put. Well put. So, I mean, the message here, guys, is that you're not going to be successful if you're caught up in fantasy land, which is what I call it. Online is all fantasy land. And the reason we keep bringing in these videos is that, so that you really get that. You cannot be successful playing in fantasy land, or at least, you know, your chances are about the same as w winning the lottery back home, right? So the way you can be successful is to come to Ukraine, number one come to Ukraine. Sit and meet girls face to face. But the thing is, Mike, you're trying to do that. Now you've been in Ukraine for a bit. You're trying to meet these girls face to face, but they're not, they're, they're no, not. They, um, it's an interesting scenario where they seem to uh, drop off very quickly when all of a sudden you're able to meet them. Right, right. I'm in Ukraine now and I want to meet with you and yeah, disappear. Radio silence. Yeah, complete silence. Yeah, yeah. And you know, that's one of my uh, scammer check um, tricks is for guys, a tip to you guys out there. You can, if you're corresponding online, just send her an email and say, hey, uh, I'm in Ukraine. This is my phone number. You're welcome to use uh, our, we have a designated phone number, Ukrainian uh, cell number for that. And the thing is, you'll never hear from them. Uh, about, we've done this for about 30, to 40 guys and not one time has any guy ever received a call or have we received a call for the guy that we've done this and then of course it's just like you're you're having that same result so the more of the story the bottom line here is that uh, you need to come to Ukraine number one but then you still have a problem how to find a good Ukrainian girl that's sure. serious that's looking for love and marriage so <laughs> at the end of the day uh, what Tetiana what I learned from her is that virtually every man that comes to Ukraine, and this is pretty wild and crazy, can be successful, can meet an amazing Ukrainian lady that's amazing. She's a bit younger, she's beautiful, she's talented, she's smart, she's educated, she's traditional values, and she will love you and take care of you. That's what they do in the Slavic countries, you know. Um, it is a real opportunity that exists, but the trick is how to find them. That's one thing. And of course, uh, we have only authentic ladies in our database. We do our very, very best to make sure they're authentic uh, for you. Um, but this video is about zone of success. So the other thing is, um, just to finish that statement, is that virtually every guy can be successful, but that's if, with the caveat, if they look within their zone of success. That's what she says, you know, she is a Ukrainian woman that's 
been a private VIP matchmaker for 16 years, she knows what she's talking about. She sees, uh, and in the last two years, um, virtually every guy, two guys that I can think of have not been successful yet, uh, but I still believe that they, they will, because uh, they're coming back, they haven't given up on themselves, and really that's the only way uh, when you're working with us that, you, that a guy um, misses out, uh, loses out, is if he gives up on himself, if he quits. Um, so that's why we keep pounding the point home that guys need to look within their zone of success. First of all, get out of fantasy land, stop play in the online games, come to Ukraine, but then be realistic, basically. Um, so, the five points of zone of success. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Uh, the first one, the most important, is that the guy is age appropriate. Now, the reality uh, of age appropriateness, according to Tatiana, the expert, is 10 to 15 years is a very realistic number for most guys. Uh, and it depends how the guy looks, it depends on a number of parameters, but you know, that's average. Some guys less, some guys may be able to push it envelope a little bit more, so it's, it's a rule of thumb. So can I ask you, uh, Michael, uh, how old are you and what age of lady are you looking for? Uh, my age now is 46. Uh -huh. um, the actual age bracket, I look for anything around the age 30, can be a couple of years below, can be a few years above, Right. but somewhere in that uh, bracket. So around 30, so low 30s? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. <coughs> and so that's, uh, you know, that's realistic, that's realistic. Okay, point number two for zone of success is financial, your financial ability. You know, all Slavic women that are looking to find a foreign man, they want, also they want a better life. Now, it's a problem if that's their primary directive, you know, better life, you know, that, that, that is what we screen against heavily in our database, that that's not her primary reason. Secondary, that's fine, it's normal, it's reasonable. I mean, I think we all want a better quality of life. Um, love needs to be the number one reason, but the second reason is, yeah, they want a better life for them and their family, their children, if they have children now. So, you know, some guys come here and they have no financial means, you know, uh, and they think they're going to find a Slavic woman and they think they're desperate and they think they all want to get out of Ukraine. and. What do you think about that, Michael? I think that's a big mistake of uh, an attitude to have. Yeah. Um, let's face it, it um, doesn't matter what country a girl is in, she's always looking for a man who's reasonably successful. If he's not successful in his own uh, personality and his own way, uh, he must at least have something good to provide. If you don't have that provision, you're wasting your time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're wasting your time. Um, so. Financial means is important. So I guess my question to you, Michael, is um, I don't need to know, you know, details of your financial situation, of course. But basically, are you in a situation where you're, you know, you're a consulting engineer, you're gainfully employed in, in Australia, sure, right, and you're successful in your own merits. Yep. Uh, so you're a good provider, I would presume. Absolutely. Right. Right. So uh, when you have a family, uh, you you provide safety and security to your lady which I think is important. It's very, very important. And that's why it's factor number two in the waiting. Factor number one is age appropriate. Factor number two is financial ability. You don't need to be rich, guys. Uh, a good girl doesn't need a rich guy. We just had a successful client meet a, a beautiful uh, girl that, uh, and he is a US postal worker. So it shows to go, yeah, right? Uh, you don't need to be rich. So that's cool. So. Um, your, uh, your point number one is that you're uh, age appropriate. Uh, that's fine for you. Uh, you're a good provider, so that's, you know. And as we go through these five points, uh, as you uh, hit the check marks, um, you know, you go up the probability ladder, uh, as you were. So point number three of zone of success is children. Three and four are children. The first one about children is, is it okay if uh, she already has a child? Are you looking for women that already have a child? Uh, in my particular case, I would say yes, if the child is reasonably young. Um, older children tend to have a lot more expectations, so I wouldn't go down that road. 
Right, right. So as long as she has a younger child, uh, and you're looking in the early 30s, so there's lots of uh, ladies in their early 30s that already have a child. And the thing is, that the reason this is important is because the reality, guys, is, is that unfortunately, and I hate to say this, but this is a country of deadbeat dads because there's no legal repercussions for uh, a father to just take off and pay no child support, no spousal support. He's just gone with the wind. Nothing ever happens to him. So these guys, uh, you know, they notoriously do that. Not all, of course. I'm not trying to paint the whole uh, popula male population of Ukraine in this uh, fashion, but uh, you just talk to the women here. It's a problem. And the result is there's a lot of single mothers with uh, children of all ages and certainly uh, small ages too. And if a guy is willing to uh, love uh, her child, you'll see that a lot when you approach these ladies. They say right in their profile in our agency, they say, you know, I'm looking for a man who's able to love my child. You know, that's very, very important for them. And their options are really limited. When you talk to these single moms over here, they say, it's, I, I, I've had them on camera say to me, I say to them, it's, is it difficult for you to find a good man? And they say to me, it's impossible. I've had women say that. Impossible. Yeah, it's really, really difficult. So what that means for you, as a guy coming here looking for a lady, is that your probability of success goes up higher, higher, higher if you're willing and you feel like you can love her child. So again, you go much higher on the probability scale. So good news. Good stuff. <laughs> uh, fourth point uh, is children. Are you in a situation where you want to have more children? The answer is definitely yes. Right. And you, um, you have no children, right? As far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, good. Though no children, um, and the ladies like that. I mean, I mean, it just, again, your probability of success goes up a little bit higher. Um, they prefer, as most guys prefer, that, you know, that uh, the guy doesn't have any children. So that's another check mark for you. And um, the reality of uh, the children's situation here, uh, they call children the flower of life here. And really, that's how Ukraine society is built on family and children. That's hugely important. And when they marry a good, solid provider, what do they want? More children. Surprise, surprise. So that's good. You go up the rung even further. It helps to have the same expectations. Uh, if the girl has the same expectations as the man who's looking for her, uh, you just have a natural connection. Exactly. And the fifth and final point on zone of success is your uh, freedom, you know, how much time availability you have to come here and pursue your half. Because this is a journey. You don't come here and then, you know, snap of a fingers, find, you know, your half, find the love of your life. It takes, uh, you know, knock on wood, <laughs> um, all of our clients except for two have come and in the first two week period in the last two, two years they have found uh, a lady that they're very happy with, they have chemistry and connection, they've gone home and they're on the long distance stage of the relationship now. But now they're going to uh, come back and continue to court her, continue to deepen the relationship and at the end of the day she has to trust you. And trust I think you probably understand by now is not easily earned to a Ukrainian woman. That's probably right. It's probably one of the greatest uh, bugbears of uh, forming relationships. Mm -hmm. Is trust, right? Yeah. So it takes some time. The guy has to be aware that he's going to come back at least two, three times, you know, to get the relationship to a point where uh, the next step is for her uh, to do a visa and come see you in your country. She wants to see how you live, meet your family, meet your friends because she has fears that she needs to overcome. And her primary fear is, mm, what if he's Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde? I mean, that's what the ladies have all told me. What if he's Mr. Nice Guy in Ukraine, but when I go to his country, what's he gonna do to me? I have no legal rights, I don't speak the language. So by coming to your country, see how you live, meet your family and friends, she trusts you even more. Then the next step is hopefully walking down the aisle, right? But it's a journey, so how much time, what does your uh, time availability look like in your life? Uh, I like to keep my time availability very open and very adjustable. So uh, I don't put any uh, proviso or limits. 
you're a consulting engineer uh, and you can you basically do uh, contracts right so you can take two three months off here and there when you need sure when right. I need to when you need to um, and that's really the ideal situation for a guy if that's you then your chances of success go up even more so for you uh, Michael your chance of success each one of these five points it goes up 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 so that's fantastic. That's the uh, best case scenario for you is if you have a lot of time freedom to come here and nurture your relationship. So uh, at the end of the day, Mike, it's good news on all five points. You have hit all the check marks and that puts you in the top, top zone of success. That's great because uh, it means that uh, it's worth being here. It's worth spending a lot more time on the journey and making something of it. Exactly. Exactly. High five. Cool.